Hello, today we're going to look at the regiochemistry of ligand substitution ex reactions or ligand exchange reactions on square planar complexes. I have um, for an example over here, Vasca's complex and bringing in a bromide, you could imagine two possible products where the bromide ends up trans to the carbonyl or the bromide ends up trans to one of the triphenyl phosphine ligands. So we're gonna look to see which product is formed. So we're gonna start with looking at the pi acceptor ligands and a strong pi acceptor ligand will have what's called a strong trans effect. It increases the rate of substitution of the trans ligand. So it allows for the new incoming ligand to bind opposite the pi acceptor. So if I look at Vasca's complex, we remember that carbonyls are pi acceptors and the triphenylphosphines are sigma donors. And so we're going to see the new incoming ligand opposite of the pi acceptor. So this would be our predicted product. The bromide ligand coming in trans to the carbonyl. So you want to remember trans, we want to look for typical trans ligands and use those to predict where the new incoming ligand will come. So we'll look at why the MO of pi acceptor ligands direct the new ligand to be coming in opposite to that pi acceptor. And most of the current thinking is that this has to do with the stability of this trigonal bipyramidal intermediate. And if that ligand is aligned in the same plane in this trigonal bipyramidal, here's my trigonal plane, and these are the two axial ligands, and this is the new plane here, and the carbonyl and the chlorine are axial. So if the ligand is coming in in the same plane as that carbonyl and the chlorine, I've drawn a picture of that over here. We have the pi acceptor of the carbonyl ligand. Here's my CO, and this is the pi star, and it's lined up so that the metal orbital can donate into that pi acceptor. But the pi donors of my bromine ligand and the chlorine ligand are also lined up. So those are donating into this orbital at the same time that that's lining up and donating into the pi acceptor, the pi star orbitals of the carbonyl. So we have an extended pi system all in one plane. However, if you look at the other, the disfavored intermediate, you'll see that this orbital, the pi donating orbital, not the sigma one, is not aligned. It's perpendicular to this pi star of the carbonyl. And since this is perpendicular, I can't get this extended pi system, and this is less stable. So what we find is that this incoming ligand needs to line up in the same plane as the pi acceptor, and that then results in this trans product. We have a second trans effect with sigma donor ligands. And this is smaller, so if you have a pi acceptor ligand, you should be looking for that to be the director first. And it, but if you don't, then you would want to predict that the new incoming ligand will probably come in opposite to your strong sigma donors. And here's a list of the strong sigma donors in order of strength. And a lot of this is about base strength. So remember our hydrides and carbons are highly basic because these are not electronegative atoms. And so they don't wanna keep that negative charge. And the car current thinking on why these are, um, why a strong sigma donor causes the new incoming ligand to come opposite, it's a little bit different logic. In this case, the idea is that if I have a strong donor, I get 
strong overlap and then in between that strong donor and the metal ligand or metal orbital and that gives me a lot of constructive interference in this lobe of the orbital leaving this one very small destructive interference on the other lobe so a new so then the ligand that's opposite it has very little binding to this metal and is willing to leave so this is really causing it to leave opposite to the strong donor. If I have a weak donor, I get some constructive interference. So you could imagine something like this. Here's my ligand here. And I get a small overlap and I still have quite a bit here that's not overlapping. So now this metal is sort of evenly sharing with these two ligands and neither ligand is willing to leave. But in remember up here with the strong one, the opposite to the strong will be more likely to leave and then the new ligand will come in. 